queen. <laughs> What is up my mini queenies and welcome to vlogtober day 9 and today is Wednesday which means I only have class later on in the day but I do have a lot of homework to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and join the mini queenie family. So I'm in the workout room or this is kind of like the mixture of everything room but I call it the workout room because this is where I work out. Yeah, so I'm gonna listen to a podcast. On Wednesdays, I usually listen to Pretty Basic, but I'm unsure if they already uploaded their podcast. So I'm probably gonna listen to Unsolicited Advice. Pretty Basic just uploaded, so I'm going to listen to their episode. It's called Expectations and Putting People on a Pedestal. That one sounds good. So it's 41 minutes, so I'm probably gonna run for 40 minutes. So wish me luck. I still have this question of like people always Start it off. Obviously, you need dreams, you need goals. Yes. Like, goals specifically. You know, people are like, what do you want to do? Yeah, I mentioned goals even earlier. But. Alright, y'all. So I ran for 40 minutes and I feel good. And now I'm going to eat and then take a shower. And then I have a massage with my favorite masseuse, Mimi. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to get my neck cracked because my neck is so stiff all the time. Probably from stress and always doing homework and being on the table, like the desk that in class and all that stuff. Whew. But my grandma, she made me pineapple juice and pancakes, so I'm excited. Let me show you. But this is what my grandma made, and it looks yummy. It looks super good. And he's probably gonna beg. But I'm going to be watching Charmed while I eat. And yeah, say good morning, Chachi. By the way, his behavior was so much better. Oh yeah, and the last clip you guys see, um, Gordo, since he's he's not a puppy anymore, but he doesn't know many things, and he's very scared of the elliptical. Like he wants to like, for, well, at first he was scared, then he wanted to attack it, and now he's just like very jumpy around it so I recorded a little snippet of him doing it at one point his whole head was on top of my foot while I was running and he got scared obviously because I'm moving and all that good stuff but yeah <laughs> he's so funny I am about to get a massage again and I'm really excited because I definitely need it my neck is so 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 stiff Beginning of my paper and finished. So this is extra credit from the play that I went to. And um, yeah, so now I have to do my geography homework. And Mickey and I are very, very hungry. Wait, this is a new jacket. Mm -hmm. All right, so I finished my annoying geography homework and I'm watching Charmed and it is so good. Oh my God, I wanna freaking cry. Like, I think I'm almost on the last episode or this is the last episode. I don't freaking know, but it's amazing. I don't know why, but I always stopped at season seven. I thought I always finished it, but I guess I didn't. So yeah, this is like my fifth or fourth time rewatching this show. And I never got to the end, which is so weird because I always thought I did. But I was like, wait, I've never seen these episodes. So yeah, you guys need to watch this movie, this show because it's super, super good. If you're into like witch stuff. You guys, I want to freaking cry. I just finished Charmed. Like I said, for the first time, I never realized that I didn't actually finish it. I never watched season eight and I want to cry. I feel like my life is empty now because <laughs> I've been watching this since the beginning of September or even late August. And um, oh my God, you guys, I love this show. I hope Netflix never takes it off because I literally, literally 
love this show. You guys definitely need to watch it. It's so, so good and it only gets better and better over time. Some say will, some people will say the beginning's the best, but in my opinion, I love seeing the characters grow and finally getting the happy ending that they deserve because the show's pretty intense. I thought it would be very interesting to, for me to tell you guys the story of how jack-o'-lanterns came to be. So I'm going to read you this spooky story and if you guys like these story times, Halloween story times, please let me know because I'll love to do it. I have a story about how costumes came to be, although that's pretty short. Um, how trick-or-treating came to be. Um, and all that good stuff. So, but for today, we're gonna do The Legend of Stingy Jack. Stingy Jack was a miserable old drunk who loved playing tricks on anyone and everyone. One dark Halloween night, Jack ran into the devil himself in a local public house. Jack tricked the devil by offering him his soul in exchange for one last drink. The devil quickly turned himself in a sixpence to pay the bartender, but Jack immediately snatched the coin and deposited it into his pocket, next to a silver cross that he was carrying. Thus, the devil could not change himself back, and Jack refused to allow the devil to go free until the devil had promised not to claim Jack's soul for ten years. The devil agreed, and ten years later, Jack again came across the devil while out walking on a country road. The devil tried collecting what he was due, but Jack, thinking quickly, said, I'll go, but before I do, will you get me an apple from that tree? The devil, thinking he had nothing to lose, jumped into the tree to retrieve an apple. As soon as he did, Jack replaced crosses all around the trunk of the tree, thus trapping the devil once again. This time, Jack made the devil promise that he would not take his soul when he finally died. Seeing no way around his predicament, the devil grudgingly agreed. When Stingy Jack eventually passed away several years later, he went to the gates of heaven, but he was refused entrance because of his life of drinking and because he had been so tight-fisted and deceitful. So Jack then went down to hell to see the devil and find out whether it were possible to gain entrance into the depths of hell. But the devil kept the promise that he had made to Jack years earlier and would not let him enter. But where can I go? asked Jack. Back to where you came from, replied the devil. The way back was windy and very dark. Stingy Jack pleaded with the devil to at least provide him with a light to help him find his way. The devil, as a final gesture, tossed Jack an ember straight from the fires of hell. Jack placed the ember in a hollowed out turnip, one of Jack's favorite foods, which he always carried around with him whenever he could steal one. From that day forward, Stingy Jack has been doomed to roam the earth without a resting place and with only his lit turnip to light the way in the darkness. So, okay, if you guys didn't get that, before pumpkins, pumpkins were made when Halloween came to America because pumpkin is a native plant here in America. But it first started off with turnips and even potatoes and stuff like that. So, pretty much Stingy Jack, since he couldn't go to heaven or hell, um, he is walking around Earth with... Um, his little jack-o'-lantern, I guess you can say, and looking for a place where he can rest. And that is why people put the jack-o'-lanterns in front of their house or in front of their windows to ward off any wandering evil spirits. So that is the story of how jack-o'-lanterns came to be and um, 
yeah i hope it was interesting i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and let me know if you guys like these story times Bye.